Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Gary Morgan Art. Today I'm going to show you how I would go about painting with gold. Okay, so we have our canvas. I'm going to go full screen here. And the simplest way I can get you to do this on Photoshop is I'm just going to drop in a sphere or a circle. And I'm going to grab a, a yellowy color. A bit more orange than that. A bit more saturated. About there, that'll do me. And what you want to do is to get this very simple to make it look like uh, brushed um, gold. Is you want to go up 25% from where you are now. Push it towards the yellows. And say I want my light to come from the top right of this, of this piece. I'll just brush that in real quick with an airbrush okay so now that's our light surface and i'm gonna grab almost a pure white i'm gonna push this towards the lime greens and then i'm gonna add my highlight section so for gold your highlights will be almost touching white but towards the green section towards lime And in a little bit more. I'm going to grab my neutral color. I'm going to go halfway roughly to black. And I'm going to push it very much so into the greens. A bit further to black. Okay. So now I've added in my green. I'm going to grab a nice saturated orange. I'm just going to put that along the Terminator of this sphere all along this terminator i'm gonna add orange maybe a bit of a pinch of red remain on the airbrush for now i'm grab this orange color push it towards red bring it down a little bit and i'm gonna put that bouncing in a little bit and then i'm gonna grab my green again and I'm adding in my sh full shadow just airbrush in to each section like so and then if you want to you can refine the shape of your highlight and add multiple areas where this gold is coming from uh, the highlight is coming from so i've added like a couple of sections to the left and to the right i'm gonna add a little bit more saturation to this yep just this one particular spot and i'm gonna add a bit more blend on the bounce light flip my canvas to this here and i'm gonna go all the way back up to lime and i'm gonna add in my key highlight here so now if you wanted to make this look like um it's a brush steel kind of effect so like it's been polished by a uh, machine what you'd want to do is add a new layer grab a rough round bristle brush like this and then i will change this layer to screen and I'm just going to quickly, I'll do it from top to bottom. Try and make sure that you are using the same pressure per stroke. And then you bring down the opacity. And then you grab your eraser, soft brush. And then you just kind of brush out of the shadows. Because I'm going to want the details to be primarily in the light. Okay. So there's our rough sphere. 
and I'll merge that down by clicking Control M. Deselect. Make a new layer. So now I'm going to include a bit of perspective to incorporate our last two three lessons. So I'm just gonna do a kind of a side angled. No, oh, I need to change the eraser back to the hard round so I can get rid of lines quickly, turn off the point of precision. So this is slightly from underneath. Perspective grid is Okay, so now if we imagine this is a gold bar, etc. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool. So if you haven't used this before, you kind of hold and press down. And then you come down to one that says polygonal lasso tool. And then I'm going to go and create a new layer beneath this one. And I'm going to place my lines all around this all around the edges so each vertice i'm going to place a point of this uh polygonal lasso tool lasso tool i'm just to make my life easy i'm going to go back and i'm going to grab this yellowy orange i'm going to fill this with that and now i'm going to turn this one off turn my line actually i'm just going to turn the opacity down just so i can get a rough idea so now what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to create something called a one, two, three read, which basically means that the form is showing three sides, but you always need to make sure that there's a mid value and a shadow value as well as the primary value value. So say this yellow is our primary value. I want to go down 25% to black. So this would be halfway, so 25%. And then I need to either go towards cool or warm. And then the i'll explain it a little bit more so i'm going to go towards warm and i'm going to make this bottom plane our warm tone It's not going to be a perfect line. This is not my perfect angle. I would rotate the canvas, but I'm not going to do that right now. I might be able to just do a straight line now across, but you can kind of see what I'm trying to do anyway. And then I pick the base value again, the base color. I go halfway to black, push it towards the green, and then I have my my core, my main shadow. However, we don't stop there. Now we have our core shadow and our 25% value. I'm going to grab the primary color again. And I'm just going to jot a little in between, between these two. And then I'm going to zoom in with the smudge tool or the mixer brush rather. I'm just going to go up and just up and down all the way along this line. And then the same on this side and I'm going to drag straight down like that that'll give me a curved edge I'm going to do the same all the way along this one this edge and then I'm just going to go back in and blend so do the same on this edge blend like so oh, went too far blend like so now we got our random bar of soap gold shaped thingy and now I'm going to deselect and I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool once more. I'll roughly add in this top surface here. So this plane is going to be our light plane, obviously, because it's the, in the one, two, three read, that is the highest value, highest key value. So this will be our mid tone, the orange and our shadow tone, the green. And then I'm going to stay on the, stay on the soft brush. Grab this color, go all the way up to white, towards the lime, and then you're gonna just brush in from this corner. 
and you're going to kind of taper it down almost like a triangle if you can see what i mean and then i'm going to smooth in between like so and give it like a ripply effect this makes you have a nice kind of gradient and then we're going to go quite high on the value and all the way across to the saturation i'm going to grab a nice orange and i'm going to just place that in between here and i'm also going to move it a bit towards the red and this yellow here i'm going to make more saturated push it towards the orange just so i have an in-between color now here in this bit i'm going to stay all the way up high key and then i'm going to push it towards the yellow and i'm going to go all the way to the top right corner the utmost saturation and i'm going to go in between the orange and our lime green white okay now i'm not finished i'm going to grab a transparent round brush i'm going to deselect i'm going to grab this uh, shadow color and i'm going to push this shadow color even further so i'm going to go halfway to black from this and i'm going to just lay in one line here like so and now for this you can see that's kind of adding some form to this shape get rid of any excess afterwards it doesn't matter this is not a perfect square cube in perspective but this is giving you a rough idea of how you can create these shapes so now to make this look like it's got a bit more uh highlights and reflections on top of that i'm going to add in some of this orange from the 25 percent value and i'm just going to kind of brush this in with the other tones and i'm going to grab my even darker color and i'm just going to kind of blend this in between i don't like that shape that i just gave myself so i'm going to go grab this shadow color i'm going to just blot it in like so and then i'm going to say the light is coming from the right there's something is reflecting off so I'm going to grab out a 25% value again. And I'm going to go here like so. And then I'm going to brush away the excess with my eraser. I clean the shape up with my eraser tool again. Okay. And now... I'm just going to keep on moving in between these values, these three values I've just laid out here. Right. Now I'm going to grab the base color and I'm going to just add in a little subtle highlight on this side of the gold. And I brush back into this shape with my lime green and my orange. Kind of brush over it with my original lime green. I'm gonna add in my shadow color again. Just keep on rinse and repeating this until you get a nice, almost ripply effect on the side. All right now, I'm gonna grab this lime color. I'm gonna put lock the uh, pixels and transparency here so I can get this looking smooth. So I'm gonna add this to my 25% layer so it's got a shadow. And I'm going to primarily put it to the right hand side here. And I'm going to grab my highlight color and I'm going to add it all along this edge here. And then on top of that, you're going to do what we did earlier. So just up and down all the way along this line. And then you just brush over all of that to give it a rounded edge and you'll do the same for this edge here so i'm gonna make it slightly thinner on this side and it's going to gradiate to a yellow to our high saturated yellow i don't like this side so i'm just going to brush over it one more time with the lime green i'm going to grab my dark green 
I'm just gonna kind of go back to what I originally had, I think. I'm gonna add in a little bit of orange here just to mix things up. Perhaps, a, perhaps like a red might look nice. No. Okay. Just drop in my shadow color one more time. And I'm just gonna pretend there's some highlights there. My 25% color, roughly. And just like kind of brush over them with the base color there of the shadow. Okay. Now, to bring this thing to life, I'm gonna grab the highlight orangey red color. I'm gonna really pull this all the way down into the red and then I'm going to add a burst of color along these terminator lines and I'm going to grab a little bit of a yellow color and I'm just going to brush this along the surface a little bit now if I wanted to I'm going to grab the darkest color as I can get for this side here and I'm just going to add in almost like the same, the same triangle taper on this side of shadow. So I've just gone halfway to black in my green and move the hue a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to blend this edge. Now I'm going to show you a trick in how, how you can get this to really pop as if it were gold. So hit control J clip in mask overlay bring down the saturation uh, bring down the opacity a little bit now merge them layers and there you go you've got a block of gold and you can etch into this emboss into this however you want and if there's any colors you don't like just potch around with it a bit so i'm going to add a little bit of blue in here so i'm going to go through the grays and then i'm going to add a little bit of flake of blue there to pretend that there is a blue light source coming from the right so i'm going to do the same thing again here and then i'm going to add this blue in here and not completely blue because you need to work through the grays So there you go there's my gold tutorial and generally i would go to the saturation hue and i'd push it towards the orange a little bit and then i'd bump the saturation and i don't really like how this side is looking so i'm just gonna right this sometimes the shadow side can give you a bit of jip because you just i tell you what i'll do here look uh i'm just gonna start the shadow and mid-tone over again because it's, I don't like how it's looking currently. So I'm going to add the 25% green to the bottom half. I'm going to grab this orange color, the base color rather, go halfway to black, give or take, move it towards the orange. And then I'm just going to paste this in here. And I already prefer how that looks. So now here, now that I've got my 25% black, I'm going to add my reflections with this color. And then I'm going to add a little bit more dark through the reds. So I've got like a cool shadow almost inside this third side. It's kind of the same thing again though. Just different color. I just prefer the orange look I think. I'm going to add a bit more saturation to this. Too bright. But knock it down a bit. No. A bit more. Bring it towards the red a bit. There you go. I'll do it. And I'm just going to add this in all the way along. Don't like the green. Go back up. Push it to the orange. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of this shadow color to both sides here. Brush back into them. I'm using the hard round brush again here. And yet again, if you want to, you add your little highlight colors here in the center of this to make it look like brushed or something that's reflecting onto it. 
and then you kind of there you go brush over that lightly there because you want to darken it down but you don't want to take away the complete value of it on the bottom side i'm just going to grab this value here and i'm just going to do a little bit of a shadow yeah um, add a highlight in the center Oops, a bit too bright brush over it keep on working these colors together until you get a a layer you like the look of generally i try and stay away from hard lines unless they are on the edges or the vertices i'm going to make this edge very bright because it's coming towards us in space and that is a nice trick even if it makes no sense in terms of lighting grab this in between color again the base color and i'll just kind of brush this in with a little bit of a highlight along the edge i'm going to grab my yellow color instead of the white here and then i'll kind of brush that same yellow color into the shape almost like it's reflected kind of just think about your reflections and how they'd interact with the gold simplifying your brush strokes into simple one line gentle really try and control your opacity with your pen pressure and get that subtle triangular feel push this towards the green a bit more i like the lime in the 25 percent but i don't like it inside the deep shadows because if you use a lime in the deep shadows it because it's getting pushed towards the yellow it gets the value kind of goes up in key so instead of being as dark as you want it to be it'll drop in it'll heighten in values because it's close to the yellow which is a very high key color whatever you get you get the rough feel for this now anyway and you can add your reflections if you want to so say i want to grab this 25 percent, and then there's just a random i'm going to grab an a brush for this for reflections say there is a random pyramid or something Imagine this is like a gold coin. And then you brush it back over the top with that. And say you want to pretend this is the same. So brushed gold again, like the last example. Flipping mask this time instead. Grab your rough round bristle, screen mode. Grab your lightest color and just kind of brush the same pen pressure all the way across, all the way up. And then you just erase out of the shadow. I'm going to drop the value of this 25% just a touch more. Like I said, it's the lime because it's in the yellow value. It kind of goes higher in key. So I'm going to drop the value to 0.8 select and that'll read enough for me and you can curve the edges of the box you can do whatever you want to it but as i said beforehand i'm just trying to give you a vague idea of how to use uh how to paint gold i'm gonna merge that down i think i'll call that done and yeah it's been my video on how you can paint gold in your pieces and i know there's many 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 ways to do this this is just the one way i have been approaching it recently yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did uh please like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video if you want to be notified for my future content please hit the notification bell and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace out guys